Okay, hi, welcome to I'm Rats. My name is Randy Miller, and today we're going to, I'm going to show you how to, to wrap a normal shelf. This is actually going to go on a the, in the theater uh, area, and um, so we're going to. I got 35 units of this. Also, we're using the Belvian um, SW17 or 127, and I'm going to put everything in the notes in the description box down below in the, my YouTube channel, so you can see all the links and everything. Um, we're actually, I'm at uh, <coughs> um, build, or Bolt City Designs and we're going to be wrapping these units and then I've got other columns i got to do and then also arches so stay tuned, I've got more things to come. So what I normally what I do is I, when I wrap these things, I, I time it and it usually just takes about 15 minutes to do between cutting the vinyl to prepping it out to wrapping it. So I always record everything I do. Um, but anyway, this is uh, what we do is we do the red spackle to so make it completely smooth. Here, let me get a little closer on this one. And so it's completely uh, flat and get all the, the nail holes and everything. We're not going to wrap in here, but we're just going to wrap right up to here. So first thing I do is I get nice and clean. So you can kind of see it's kind of dirty. So you want as clean, 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 clean as possible. This is what I'm doing is I'm, I'm using rubbing alcohol and water, spraying it down, and I'm using a lint-free rag. Just make sure you get all the dust out. <coughs> One last time. It only take a moment to dry. Okay, next thing I do, we want the actually, here, sorry. we want the wood grain to go this way. I'm gonna show you the end product real quick. So this is what it'll look like when it's done. Just like that. So what I normally do is, <coughs> this is the, I guess the wall side right here. There's two different ways you can do this. I like using the bodyguard uh, double cutter. Oops, oh, wait. Little, there you go. <laughs> and what that does is I'm gonna tack it on. So I'm gonna go about two inches in and this is the only does it just cuts the paper. It didn't cut the vinyl too, but it cuts the paper too. So here it's um, so you could, what you call tacking on. So I can actually adjust it, re it, you move it around and get to exactly where I need to be. Make sure it's overlapped. Oops. And tack it on. Thing, use a squeegee. I'm using my my uh, squeegee at almost at a 30 degree angle, so it's forcing the air going this way. And I'm pushing kind of hard. Okay, so now it's nice and tacked on. So now what I'm going to do is. <coughs> Pull it up. So see how it's kind of letting the vinyl or the paper arch up? So now I'm going to go this way. Pull the backing out a little bit. Now on this one right here, I usually Use my fingers or my thumb, I guess, and it squeezes it in on these little uh, edges right here. Yep. Same thing, just pulling it back. 
using my thumb, just tack it on. Now I'm going to use my squeegee. I don't know if you can hear that. The air bubbles are, are forcing this way out. And that means I got a good coverage. Very last, I like to use my, <coughs> the hands are the best. Okay, because you can feel everything. This right here doesn't really matter because there's a piece of glass or a mirror, I'm sorry, a mirror going right up there. So it, no one's ever going to see the back part of this. Now I just have to um, let's cut the excess off. So if you have a shelving <coughs> at home or if you got a commercial shelving that you want to update or make it look cool or something different uh, if you have like milamine right here we have right here what I'm you're seeing right here is the white or uh, MDF boards you can make MDF boards I recommend using a uh, what's called zinzer guards and uh, so make your design uh, using MDF MDF board the very end, before you're wrapping it, put zinzer guards, and I'll put the links down below in the description box too after I get done with the video. Zinzer guards, wait at least a week <coughs> for that to cure good. And um, then the vinyl will stick a lot better. Make sure it's completely level too. It's just like paint. You'll see every little bump. Uh, but with the texture, with the wood grain and everything, uh, that that will hide a lot of imperfections but if you're having like a solid color that would be kind of hard to do uh, you need it perfect before you wrap it okay that's it tell me you guys what you think I know this business is a very simple uh, this is for the beginners uh, but also if you have any projects like this or you have bigger projects or something like this, this is what um, uh, Bill or I'm sorry uh, Bull City designs uh, hired me to come out and, and install the vinyl on all these shelvings and also beams and arches and stuff like that. So stay tuned. And if you want to get a hold of me, 208 696 1180. Email me at rmraps at gmail.com. I'm in North Carolina right now, so if you're in the neighborhood, uh, if I have time, I can come over and look at something, any of your, any of your projects. I'm here for about uh, seven, no, sorry, uh, 11 days. So uh, other than that, <clears throat> Stay tuned. I got more arches and other things, big arches coming your way, and also I got other projects right here. So, uh, yeah, leave a comment and I'll answer that after you get done. Thanks for watching. If you like this, subscribe to me. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like, uh, if you're learning m more new stuff about this. I'll show you more uh, tricks and tips and everything. But other than that, talk to you soon. I got, I'm going to do another video soon on these beams. All right, thanks guys. Bye.